Hey, it's your girl J.S. Gucci Mane's album is finally out, and I'm here to talk about it. Sometimes, sometimes you got to lose yourself just to find yourself. Now, if you didn't know, it was supposed to come out earlier, but it got pushed back. But was it worth the wait? I'm about to talk about these tracks. Now, um, I get the bag and tone it down. I get the bag featuring Migos and then tone it down featuring Chris Brown. We're kind of on the same wave when it came down to the sound and where it would be at, like the parties and the clubs. So, yeah, I had no problems with those. And those being the singles, super dope. Like, tone it down. Chris Brown, really. Like, Chris Brown is always good when it comes down to choruses and bad vocals and just being on someone's track as a feature period even if he's rapping so the fact that he and gucci have done this track and it sounds super solid not surprising then there's migos now okay this is the thing now if i get the bag i kind of thought that it was going to be oversaturated because all those rappers like not one of the migos sing or do as anything else it's just like they're all rappers so i was just like okay what am what are we expecting but no atlanta represented get that bag and talk about that the mama i thought i was just like yeah that's me when that song comes on <laughs> Now, Curve featuring The Weeknd sounded a little different, in my opinion, from the typical Gucci tracks. And then, of course, like The Weeknd. I would have never guessed that The Weeknd and Gucci would be on the track together. So, I mean, hey, it's all about stepping outside the box. Make Love featuring Nicki Minaj. I kind of thought that wouldn't be on there because it came out a while back. And I didn't know if he was going to put newer tracks on this album. Because sometimes people put songs out and then you're like, okay, is this going to be on the album? Is this a single? And then it's not. It was just put out there. But no, it was actually on this, this project. I mean, I kind of like it. It's okay, but it's not like something like... Like, Nicki's verses aren't that dope on this track. And just like Curve featuring The Weeknd, Change featuring Big Sean is still like on that same level of different. It's just not the same sound we're used to hearing from Gucci. Change had a different effect on me. It was, I was able to relax and actually just listen to what he was saying instead of like, oh yeah, let me turn up and listen, you know, and dance a little bit. Like, yeah, it's definitely different from the records on this album. Last song that really stands out to me is Miss My Wolf featuring Rico Love. Rico Love is another one. I love him. One of my first celebrity interviews ever. But yeah so dope i would have never guessed those two would collaborate i mean rico love is known for doing his like solo projects but also known for getting in that studio and making hit records look him up so it was a dope dope collaboration when it comes down to gucci in this album i give it an a I, I, this is the first time i've given gucci's album an a before i don't know but i have definitely seen a change in this man's music okay and i am here for it you have gained a super fan gucci i mean with certain songs like lemonade and certain things that he said like featured on i was like okay yeah i like that but listen to a whole project and be like you know what i can hear this man's records being played in the future i've never said that until now below let me know your favorite song also if you like the album or not then i want you to go to my official website jay's explosion and check it out and i love you guys so much and i'll see you later